now show you how to use your crochet sewing machine. First of all, you have got a pictorial guide on your crochet sewing machine that shows you the different numbers and letters of the different stitches. You have a selector up here which you can move to correspond with the stitch that you want to make. The length of the stitch depends on what number you place your length control on and the width of the stitch is determined by which number you have the width control on. By pressing your presser foot you can then start sewing. The harder you press your foot the faster the machine will go. The less pressure you put on the pressure foot the slower your machine will go. To vary the length you just turn your length control and you will have a longer stitch by the higher number. The lower the number, the shorter the stitch. When you come to an end of a seam, you can use the reverse control by pressing this lever underneath your pictorial guide. that will make your machine go into reverse, which is useful at the end of a seam. To turn a corner, if you make sure your needle is down, you could then lift your foot and swing your work around, release your foot again, and you can carry on. Again, reverse in at the end of the seam. To remove your work, make sure your needle is at its highest point. Lift your foot. You can cut the thread using the thread cutter. This shows the different length of stitches that I used the length control on. This is where I reversed. And this is where I turned the corner and reversed. Next I'm going to show you how to do the zigzag stitching. You look at your pictorial guide, move your selector to C. Your stitch length you can vary. We'll start off with A narrow width then you can go wider the higher the number that controls the different widths and the length the higher the number always let your fabric feed itself through without pushing or pulling. Again, at the end of the seam you can use your reverse. Lift your foot control, use the thread cutter and this shows the different widths and lengths of the zigzag that you can control using your diodes. We're moving on from the zigzag onto the various stitches. We'll go and do the triple zigzag. This is useful for overcasting the edges of your seams to stop them fraying. 
The stitch and length can be varied and the width using your dials. Depending on the fabric you use, you need to make sure that you have the right needle size and type. For using stretch fabric, you need a ballpoint needle. Reducing the length, again, we shall move on to a different stitch again. Referring to your pictorial guide and also to your instruction book which comes with the machine. All these stitches are explained in your, in your instruction book and it tells you what length and width to use with the various stitch that you choose.